Tom Bavli, Perik Shishi, Daf Lamed He Aleph, Kumud Aleph, Chapter 6, Page 35a. Mishnah. Kate, so me bachin al ha perot, and what manner does one recite blessing on fruits? Al perot ha ilan hu omer, on the fruit of trees, one says, Bore pri ha etz, the one who creates the fruit of the tree. Chut min ha yain, except for wine. Sha'al ha yain hu omer, from wine, one, one says, Bore pri ha gafen, the one who creates the fruit of the vine. Ba'al perot ha aretz hu omer, and on the fruit of the ground, one says, Bore pri ha dama. One who creates the fruit of the ground. Chutz min hapat, except for bread. She'al hapat hu omer, from bread one says, Hamoti lechem min haaretz, one who brings forth bread from the ground. Ba'al hayirakot hu omer, and on greens one says, Bore priyadama, the one who creates the fruit of the ground. Rabbi Yoda omer, Rabbi Yoda says, Bore mine de shatnim, one who creates, the one who creates species of herbage. <coughs> Kamara Menaha Nemile, from where are these things known? The Tanu Rabbanan, for the Rabbis taught in Abraisa, Kodesh Hilulim La Hashem. This is in uh, Vaikra 19, verse 24. Holy. Holy for praises to Hashem. Melamed sheteunim bracha lifnehem ula achrehem. This teaches that they require a blessing before them and after them. Mikan Mikan Amar Rabbi Akiva. Based on this, Rabbi Akiva said, Asul adam shitom kolum kodem shivarech. It is forbidden for a person to taste anything before he recites a blessing. The high Kodesh Hilulim Lahahi Hu the Atta, but does this um, holy for praises Kodesh Hilulim come to uh, come to come to teach this that a blessing is required before and after? Hai mi baile, this double expression of Hilulim is needed. This is needed for other laws. For example, Chad Amar Rachamana Achalei Vahada Achalei. One Hilul, the one expression of Hilul, is the merciful one. Is that the merciful one says regarding the fruit of the fourth year, uh, de deconsecrate it and then eat it. Just a note here, the Chaf. And hey letters are similar and, and interchangeable. So the expression hilul, praise, can also be hilul, decons deconsecration. The idach and the other expression of hilul, davar hata'un, shira ta'on hilul. Only something that requires song requires deconsecration. This is a reference to the song sung by the Levim in the Beit HaMikdash. But something that does not require song does not require deconsecration. And this is Rabbi as stated by Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani in the name of Rabbi Yonatan, to Amar Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani, Amar Rabbi Yonatan, for Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani said in the name of Rabbi Yonatan, Minayin she'en omrim shira ela al hayayin, from where do we know that we do not utter song except over wine? Shinema betome lahem hagefe, for it stated, and the vine said to them, Hechedalti, hechadalti, Et tiroshi hame sameach elokim vaanashim. Shall I withhold my wine which gladdens God and man? Im anashim mesameach elokim bame mesameach. If wine gladdens man, in what way does it gladden God? Mikansha enomrim shira ela al hayayim. From here, uh, we see that we do not utter songs except over wine.
So this is an indication that the two Hillel expressions are not to teach us the blessing requirement. Hanicha laman detane netarevai. This Hillelim is an acceptable uh, source according to one who teaches. Uh, who, according to one who teaches uh, that uh, the fourth year fruits uh, of a sapling. But according to one who teaches that the fourth year fruits of a vineyard uh, What is there to say? The Itmafra was stated Rabbi Chiyav Rabbi Shimon Ber Rabbi Rabbi Chiyav and Rabbi Shimon the son of Rabbi Chad Tane Kerem Revai One teaches that the fourth year fruits of a vineyard, vechad tane neta revai, and whereas the other one teaches the fourth year fruit of a sapling, olaman tane kerem revai, and according to one who teaches the fourth year fruit of a vineyard, hanicha i yalif gezera shava, this is an ex- acceptable source if he derives it from a gezera shava. Titania, for it was taught in a, in a Baraisa. Rabbi Omer, Rabbi says, Neeman kan lehosif lachem tuato. It is stated here to increase for you its produce. Veneeman lehalan utvuat, sorry, utvuat hakarem. And it is stated there in the produce of the vineyard. Note the both uses of the word tfuat, uh, the word produce. Ma lehalan kerem, just as there uh, the produce is about a vineyard, av kan kerem, so too here produce is about a vineyard. Ai yatar lechad hilul livracha, one hilul remains. Uh, to teach about blessings on food, the e lo yalif gazera shava. But if he does not derive it through gazera shava, bracha menale. From where do we know a blessing? Do we know that uh, it's required to do a blessing uh, on him? Or where does he know where the blessing? Uh, where to, where to do a blessing from? Scroll down. So we're um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, ten lines down from the top of the screen, <coughs> about halfway down the page. The far left word is the e. The e nami alif gazera shava, and if he does not derive it from a gazera shava, ashkachan lacharav, we have found another source for saying blessing after food. Lefanav minayin. But where do we know that we have to say it before it? Ha lokasha, this is not a difficulty. for it can be derived through a kalvachomer, it stands to reason. Keshehu saveya mevarech, when he is satiated, he recites a blessing. Keshehu raev lokol sheken, is it not certain that he must do so when he is hungry? Ashkachan Kerem, we have found a source. We have found uh, a source for. We've found a source for the vineyard. That is uh, reciting blessing, the ble- saying the blessing before and after eating fruits from a vineyard. Sha'am inin minain, and where do we know? But where do we know that we for other species as well? 
that lessons re required for other species as well. Tialif Mikerem for one derives from the vineyard. Makerem davar shenehene v'ta'um bracha. Just as the vineyard, the vineyard is something which one derives benefit from, and it requires a blessing. Av kol davar shenehene ta'um bracha. So to any other thing which one derives benefit requires a blessing. Ika lemifrach. But it is possible to refute this. Ma lecherem sheken chayav beolelot. What? Uh, what's the comparison of a vineyard which is subject to an obligation of olelot? So olelot are underdeveloped grape clusters or immature grapes. sheken <clears throat> chayevet uh, So what's the comparison to standing grain? which is subject to the obligation of Chala. Kerem Yochiach, let the vineyard dem demonstrate uh, that blessings are not, uh, this is that uh, the blessing is not tied to the law of Chala. The Chazar Hadin and the argument repeats, Lo re'i ze kir'i ze the nature of this is not like the nature of that one. And the nature of this one is not like the nature of that one. The common characteristic is something which derives benefit and it requires a blessing. So to anything which derives benefit requires a blessing. Uh, so what is the comparison uh, to uh, what's the common characteristic which has in it an, uh, an aspect of the Mizbeach, of the altar? And an olive would also come since it too has an aspect of of uh, the Mizbeach. But must an olive come uh, come through an, the aspect of the altar of the Mizbeach? Vaha behedya ketibe kerem, because, well, the term kerem, which is a vineyard, is explicitly written with regard to an olive. Tirtiv viyave migadish vaad kama vaad kerem zayit, as it's written, and he burned from the piles of produce to the standing grain to the olive kerem, the olive grove. Amara Papa, sorry, where is that from? That's from uh, Mishpatim 15, verse 5. Amara Papa, Rapapa said, Kerem zait ikre, kerem setamalo ikre. It is called a kerem zait. So an olive grove is called a kerem zait. And it's, and it's not simply called a kerem. Mikoma kon kasha. In any in any event, it's, there is a difficulty. Malehat sad hashave shebahen sheken yesh bahen sad mizbeach. What is the common characteristic which has an at the aspect of the mizbeach of the altar to them? Ela. The alif la mishivat haminin. Rather, one derives uh, the requirement to bless each of the seven species. Ma shivat haminin davar shenehene veta un bracha. Just as the seven species is something uh, which from which one derives benefit and requires a blessing. Ath kol davar shenehene ta un bracha. So too. Anything which one derives benefit requires a blessing. Ma lishivat haminin shekhen chayevin. 
Bevikurim. Uh, so what's the um, comparison of the seven species which is subject to the obligation of Bikurim? Ve'od, and furthermore, Ha'tenach la'charav, this would be an acceptable, this would be acceptable for after eating food, for, for afterwards. So, meaning this would be an acceptable source for uh, saying a bracha after eating. That's in regard to the seven species. Lefanav minayin, but from where do we know uh, that we need a blessing before food? Ha this is not a difficulty. To atya bekal because it because uh, it can be derived from a kal That means it stands to reason. Keshehu savea mevarech. When he is satisfied, he recites a blessing. Keshehu ra'ev lo kol sheken is not certain that he must do so when he is hungry. He must recite a blessing when he's hungry. Ule ma'an detane neta reva'i. And according to the one who teaches uh, that the fourth year fruit saplings. This is an acceptable source for anything that is subject to planting. Foods that are not subject to planting. Such as meat, eggs and fish. From where is it known that they require a blessing? Ela. Svarahu, rather this requirement is um, is reasoned from Asur lo le adam sheyehane min haolam haze belo bracha. It is forbidden for a person to derive benefit from this world without first saying a blessing. Tanu Rabbanan Rabbi Shlomo Baraisa. Asul lo le adam shehane min haolam haze belo bracha. It is forbidden for a person to derive benefit from this world without a blessing. Bechol hanehene min haolam haze belo bracha. And whoever derives benefit from this world without a blessing, ma'al has committed an act of me'ila. Me'ila is the unauthorized use of temple property. My Takante, what's the remedy? Yelech etzel chacham, he should go to a sage. Yelech etzel chacham, he should go to a sage. My avid lay, what can a sage do for him? Ha avid lay isura, why he has already committed the transgression. Ela amarava, rather rava said, Yelech etzel chacham meikara. Vilim Vilamdenu Brachot, one should go to a sage initially, and the sage will teach him about making blessings over food, or any blessings. Kede Shelo Yavoli De Meila, so that he should not come to commit Meila again. Amar Ravyoda, Amar Shmuel, Ravyoda said in the name of Shmuel, Kol Hanehene Minha Olam Hazebelo Bracha. Whoever derives benefit from this world without uh, first saying a blessing, lo nehene mikdash mikad shamaim is regarded as if he derived benefit from the consecrated property of of heaven. Shneema lehashem haaretz umaloa, for it stated, to Hashem belongs the earth and its fullness. From Tehillim, twenty four verse one. Rabbi Levi, Rami, Rame, Rabbi Levi contrasted. Ketiv lahashem haaretz umaloa. It is written to Hashem belongs the earth and its fullness. Uchtiv hashamayim shamayim lahashem vahaaretz natan livnei adam. But it's written for the heaven, as for the heavens, the heavens are Hashem's, but the earth he has given to mankind. 
La kasha, there is no contradiction. Kan kodem bracha, here it's in reference uh, before one. Uh, so here, in the regarding the the verse about the earth belonging to to Hashem, uh, this is before one recites a blessing. Let's see the rest of the sentence. Kan, top of the next page, Kan le'acha bracha. And here, that is the verse talking about Hashem giving it to man. Kan le'acha bracha, here it's a reference to after one recites a blessing.